My passion is baseball memorabilia. I collect baseball memorabilia, primarily player endorsed items, advertising pieces, some baseball games, and uh, things related to areas of special interest like the Negro League or the Federal League, which only existed for two years, or the Players League, which only existed for one year. The two things that kind of get me are they have historical significance to the, to the history of baseball and perhaps to the history of America, and they usually have something to do with advertising, which is my, the way I pay for all this stuff. The first time my grandfather bought me baseball cards was in 1958 when I was seven years old, but collecting the kind of stuff I collect today I've done since 1975, and it's a passion, and depending on what else is going on in my life, it becomes an obsession. It's a great escape. This is a ticket to the first official Major League Baseball game that Jackie Robinson played in. He actually played two minor, two exhibition games against the Yankees earlier that week. This is a full ticket to the last game at Ebbets Field, which broke the hearts of many, many Dodgers fans. And this is a ticket to the very first game the Dodgers played on the wrong coast. My favorite story is there was a Boston Garter, which is a rare card because it was only issued to retailers. And there was only one known of a guy called Christy Mathewson, who was the best right-handed pitcher in the history of baseball. The guy who had it actually bought it at a flea market for a dollar as a book. It was a bookmark inside a book that he bought for ten dollars. And I had heard that he had had it. There was a small little article. And for four years, I, this was long before the internet, I'd write him letters, literally write him letters and mail them. And once in a while, I'd call him. And he was a school teacher, and he would always say, I don't want to sell it. And in those days, I thought it could have been worth $1,000, but I knew it would be worth much, much more. And um, finally, one summer in June, he said, I'm going to Europe with my family. I'll talk to you in September. And I said, I'll pay for the trip for your wife and kids, figuring he was a school teacher and he wasn't gonna go first class on the Concorde. He was probably going on some cheap ticket. And he said, you're kidding, it's $1,400 for the four of us. I said, you'll have the money in the morning. And I, I got the card. I tried for five years and I got the card the next day. Eventually, for financial reasons, I had to sell it, which I did for $67,000. <laughs> My other favorite item is um, the Zimmer game, which is in, 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 in what I call my office, which I affectionately renamed the dugout. It's a player endorsed game. Chief Zimmer, though he wasn't an Indian, was a catcher for Cleveland in 1890, and he was very entrepreneurial. And so he went to the leading game company of the day, McLaughlin Brothers, who are a very famous game company. And he created a baseball game on each position, the leading star player, the best first baseman, the best shortstop, the best pitcher, are there with their, with their picture there. And only five of those games have survived. What's in your collection?